welcome to chennai city garden so today in this video we are going to see about vermicompost how to make vermicompost in a simple way so this video will really help you to make vermicompost in your home and we are going to use tea grounds just use tea grounds to prepare vermicompost this is like an experiment but it has worked really well for me so this vermicompost is one of the best vermicompost that can be given to rose plants and all kind of flowering plants because this one i mean the tea grounds has a ph of uh, around 5 to 6 which is a good ph level for any kind of flowering plants especially the roses the soil should be somewhat acidic only then the rose plants can grow really well So let us see how to prepare this vermi compost using this tea grounds. So, what are the requirements? First one is the bin. Generally, we prepare a bed for I mean the vermi compost thing. But for this, I'm just having a small container, and I had put holes on the sides. I didn't put any kind of holes at the bottom because we are not adding any kind of rotten things or any kind of fruit peels. because generally it used to leak at the bottom so if we have holes at the bottom it can help but here we are not adding any kind of vegetables or food so just tea grounds so after adding the tea grounds we need the actual hero of this process i mean the earthworms so i'm just collecting the earthworms in the in, from another bin This one is already prepared one I mean finished one so I'm taking the worms from that You can get worms from different sources I have already uploaded that video so you can check out that I will give that a link in the i button so it will be useful for you So just three things are required for preparing this wormy compost a container and the tea grounds and the worms just these three things are required so i have added you can see here i'm just adding the worms to it tea grounds has a uh, the tannic acid which can really improve the acidity of the soil so just keep it in shade now i am taking it after a month i didn't do anything i didn't do anything in between i didn't add any kind of water any kind of thing just i had kept it for a month now you can see it has been reduced to nearly less than half of it you can see still i mean the earthworms are alive still see the color of the compost This is the finished product actually. It is brown and some of them are black. Very well prepared vermi compost. Still there are signs of tea powder but it is good. If you add this to any kind of rose plants, the plants will bloom bloom really well and it will grow greener. believe me only the vermi compost has has all the important nutrients in it you can add it to any kind of plants when it has some kind of micro nutrients it will definitely help all kind of plants so how can we get this amount of i mean tea powder that is the major question right just place some bucket in any kind of tea shops or coffee shops you can get these tea grounds within a day or so you can get a large amount of it and put it in a bucket and place it some some i mean some shady place in some shady place and after a month you can take down that tea grounds and do this same process so you have to just do whatever i had done in this video just put it in a container 
with holes at the sides and add some worms and they keep it in a shady place for 30 days and you will get the required vermicompost this is very simple right just you need the tea grounds or if you don't have I mean any tea shops nearby your home just save your tea grounds whatever you are using on a daily basis just save it in a bucket if any fungus forms on it you can just remove the top layer of it and you can use this I mean use it for preparing this vermicompost no need to wash it or do any kind of things so this is how we can do a proper vermicompost using tea grounds so you can just try it and add it to your plants and if the results are good do mention it in the comment I hope this video is helpful for you if you do like this video do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching